All right, everyone already knows what happened already, so I'm not gonna go through the whole fucking song and dance here today, but let me just kind of get right into my thoughts and uh, let's chat about it, all right? So first things first, I just kind of wanted to put a spotlight on the fact that not even a month ago, Ubisoft's Ghost Recon Community Manager directly let on fans via Reddit stating that they were going to be sharing some information at one point. After posting a GIF with the caption, we're watching you guys, stay tuned. Stay tuned for what exactly? Now I'm not shooting the messenger here either, I know it's not this community manager's fault, uh, but yeah man, stay tuned for what? Like in all honesty, is it because there's a new game in the works? Apparently you guys have a new game slated for 2023 as in next year, there's gonna be a new Ghost Recon game next year that's been currently in development, hush hush. I don't understand if that's the case, if, if there's a new Ghost Recon game in the works, which NVIDIA apparently leaked over a year ago, so this isn't really that too much of a big news, guys. Uh, this is stuff we already knew, man. NVIDIA leaked the list, and if I recall correctly, it said Project Over by, by Ubisoft Paris, so everyone assumes, like, yeah, that's probably the next Ghost Recon game, but when the 20th anniversary came and went, why didn't you guys showcase that? You guys do everything so wrong. Why didn't you guys showcase the fact that you're working on a new game back in October for the 20th anniversary? Why showcase Frontline? You guys do everything wrong for yourselves, man. You guys do everything wrong. It's really confusing, man. Ubisoft is very confusing, and I, and I know it's because they don't have a plan. They really don't, man. They just try to stick up as many things to the wall as possible in hopes to make money, and whatever falls, falls. They don't care. The reason why Breakpoint didn't really work at the start and the reason why we didn't get that much support in terms of it being a great live service game is the fact that they were playing catch up for the past couple years, man. Because the game was released so bad. It wasn't a true Ghost Recon game. It was missing so many features and the development, the development teams had to play catch up. It is what it is, man, but that's what happened. And that's why now everyone's saying, well, look, man, Breakpoint's in a better state, brother. Breakpoint is in a much better state, dude. So I don't know, man. So yeah, stay tuned for what? Was it the new game announcement? Stay tuned for what, in all honesty? <laughs> to tell us you guys are ending support and that you're watching us? You're watching us how exactly? He literally said, we're watching you guys, stay tuned. Doesn't seem like anyone from Ubisoft has been watching us, all right? You guys have been spoon-fed suggestions from day one in your own forums, forums that don't even exist anymore because you deleted, <laughs> you deleted your old forums and refreshed them, redirecting people to your clean slate forums. You have been spoon-fed on Reddit, on YouTube, community ran surveys, getting direct feedback from the fans, from your core audience. You have been spoon fed. You have had all these things given to you, all these things necessary at your disposal to figure out a proper plan for Breakpoint, a proper plan for your quote unquote live service game, a proper ending to this game. You guys left story bits unfinished. <laughs> Not this sudden announcement saying that you guys are dropping a final small patch and then discontinuing support for it literally just out of nowhere. This came out of nowhere. I guess the big boys over at Ubisoft had a sit down meeting last week and made the call. I don't know man, but this final patch update for the game you guys just dropped a few days ago truly is baffling to me, all right? And it's baffling to me because it's missing so much, man. It's just a slap in the face to all the fans, to all the people who have stuck through with this game, who've paid money for this game, for this to be the final update. I'm not even gonna bother reading through everything because it's just so pointless, man. It's so pointless. I'll just point out though, that this 4.5.0 update, the final update, the final piece of anything for us to download for Breakpoint ever, does not include possibly the most important thing, all right? They couldn't even end it off with the most important thing. And that is the ability to access this game and play it offline. So when the day does come and Ubisoft does decide to shut down those servers, we can at least still play the game that we paid money for. Oh wait, 
<laughs> I'm mistaken. I'm mistaken. Sorry. We're all renters, all right? We're not owners. We're renters. Because unlike now, where you can pop in your favorite Ghost Recon game from 20 years ago to enjoy anytime you're in the mood to fucking enjoy it, the future of doing that isn't looking too bright no more, all right? Whenever you're in the mood to play Ghost Recon Breakpoint in 10 to 15 years from now, well, guess what? Do you want to relive some of that fun you used to have? Nah. No, you won't be able to. You will only be able to remember the distant memory of the game as it fades in your head. Thanks to those servers shutting the fuck down, alright? Ugh, man, it really does suck because in all honesty, guys, in my opinion, Ubisoft, you delivered with the Motherland update, alright? You didn't deliver in the time leading up to the update because of the lack of communication and all that stuff, but at least with the Motherland update, you brought us new stuff to tackle, alright? More things for us to do. Anyways, the point is, you guys started to have something good finally, alright? You started to win us back and make us hopeful that you would continue to support this game and fix its remaining issues. Issues like the IR Illuminator, for example, how it just magically stays on all the time, or the fact that you still didn't include IR lasers in the game, making them visible amongst you and your whole team. Why after gaining back a bit of trust and hope from your core audience after you lost it in October with the 20th anniversary fiasco and the frontline announcements, did you feel the need to go ahead and nosedive into NFT space and shoehorn it into Breakpoint as a guinea pig, alright? Despite the backlash from the entirety of the gaming community, not even just the Ghost Recon community, the entire gaming community, st you still stayed strong with it. After all that backlash, you still stayed strong with it. You still stayed strong even though Breakpoint is a live service game and all those overpriced money laundering digital goods that people will, might buy and sell, which, which I don't even think anyone did because apparently it's been a big failure, won't be accessible once the servers are cut in the future. Ubisoft, you confuse me. <laughs> <laughs> you guys confuse me so much, man. And not only me, you confuse everyone. It makes no sense to put NFTs into a live service video game and then and then literally a month later drop your 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 support for it. <laughs> like I I don't know, man. I really don't know anymore, man. You guys confuse me. You have no you have no direction with the Tom Clancy brand anymore. You are running around like headless fucking chickens, completely baffling the lack of decision making and awareness from you guys, all right? But if you're going to make a game that is live service, then you need to commit to it, all right? You need to put in the work. If there's anything you can learn from this whole breakpoint fiasco, it's to steer clear of live service games, especially if it's a ghost recon game, all right? Just steer clear of it, guys, all right? This this live service method just isn't working for you, all right? And breakpoint was proof of that. Focus on the real important stuff, all right? Don't create a system for profit and then try to develop a game around that system. Show some respect for the series. Learn from your mistakes, learn from your successes, lean in on your community. Just knowing that there's no more updates or future updates really does suck, man, because they were just getting there, man. <laughs> Ubisoft, you guys were just getting there with this game, man. Things were starting to turn around. If you wanted a live service, you could have really went all in with that live service model, especially now when things were looking good, but I don't know, man. Typical Ubisoft, just being completely blind and clueless, walking down the street, literally walking into cars, bro. Actually, no, wait. <laughs> Ubisoft fucking runs at cars, runs at oncoming traffic because they're just so clueless. They're so clueless. And you know what, Ubisoft? I'm going to end it off right here now. But uh, last thing, all right? We will all hold you to this line, Ubisoft. The one that you put in your statement. The statement that I didn't even bother reading because everyone already fucking read it on their own. But <laughs> I'm going to read this one line that really sticks out to me, all right? All right, and I'm gonna quote it right now. So here we go, I'm air quoting right now. The feedback you've given us for Ghost Recon Breakpoint has been instrumental and will help shape the future of the franchise. Instrumental. The feedback has been instrumental and it will help shape the future of the franchise. We will hold you to those words, Ubisoft. We will not forget those words.
yeah, man, new game is on the way, and uh, we'll see how that goes, all right? So my fingers are crossed that they are actually listening. Again, we will hold you guys to this, all right? And uh, anyways, guys, as always, thank you for watching, and uh, you know damn well I'm going to cover any bit of fucking info that comes out for that next Ghost Recon game, so keep an eye out, all right? I'll be here, okay? Anyways, guys, thanks again. Take it easy.